So once you connected your uh, Arduino uh, Pro Mini with the uh, FTDI adapter, now we need to program uh, that uh, microcontroller. So I, I have uh, uh, downloaded a tool already called uh, you know, IDE, uh, Arduino IDE. So the IDE software comes with this uh, blink sketch or program and uh, you know so when you open the the uh, the blink sketch uh, it's under file examples basics blink uh, this is how you open uh, this uh, program here so when you open it notes that um, all this is just a comment. Let me just zoom in so you can see it. So uh, you can really delete this if you want, but this is just a comment. Be you know, anything between forward slash star and star forward slash, it's a comment. And you go down and you have another comment here forward slash forward slash that's another comment for one line and then you read your program start from here so as I, was, as I said before when you open a new sketch you will have a void setup function and a void loop function okay so your program starts from here so if I zoom in a little bit Um, the program used the pin mode function to set up uh, led underscore built-in uh, constants. Uh, this the uh, this is basically uh, point to the uh, digital pin number thirteen in your uh, uh, in your Arduino uh, Pro Mini uh, PC board and. Uh, this pin is set to be output and because we want to uh, basically uh, drive an LED with 5 volts so we we, we uh, setting up the direction of the current and now uh, the other function which is uh, the loop function it will be basically all the time uh, scanning and uh, set, setting this function digital rights to basically to drive pin number 13 which is led uh, uh, underscore built in high high that's the boolean algebra used uh, either one or zero sometimes or high and low so five volt you will be uh, driving this led led uh, for a delay function this is another function that being used for uh, 1000 millisecond okay and then uh, drive the same pin number 13 low means turn it off uh, for another 100 millisecond and we're gonna actually see how uh, when we reduce the uh, the frequency or the time interval uh, that's the delay from 1000 millisecond to 100 millisecond what's going to be what's going to happen to the uh, the flash the flashing speed it's going to uh, basically uh, make it faster because time interval is, is shorter now okay so this is the the blink and i'm going to show you how it looks in the uh, in the actual uh, circuit board you will see the that light uh, the onboard led uh, is uh, uh, flashing okay the, the other project uh, we're gonna be doing uh, we're gonna drive uh, six LEDs with the uh, six external LEDs with our Arduino Pro Mini I'm gonna just zoom out a little bit here and the program we're going to be using is following so we set up the uh, the time 
to uh, we created the constant we give it a value it's going to be 100 it's 100 millisecond as I said before the uh, setup uh, function no, void uh, we use void so we don't return any arguments so uh, we go to uh, we're going to use uh, uh, a four so we, we have basically six leds okay and we don't want to each time go and write uh, the, uh, the pin number for each one uh, so we just if we use the uh, for loop then it's gonna uh, basically iterate through each uh, LED or, and uh, LED is connected to the uh, to the pin so we set up a, a constant called this pin okay and the initial value that's pin number three and uh, the last pin it's gonna be uh, less strictly less than 10 which is pin number nine okay so the uh, for uh, uh, loop it use uh, basically it has uh, a three you need to enter three informations okay initialization um, what we're testing the condition and then we keep increasing uh, this value here is to increase uh, the loop so from three is gonna go iterate to four five six seven eight uh, and then uh, so this value here and nine so uh, nine is gonna be the the buzzer remember the LED is number eight okay and then we're gonna send uh, we're gonna set up the uh, pin mode this time to be output okay And then in the void function, we're gonna use a uh, for loop, same setup, and we're gonna turn pin by pin. So when when the uh, this pin value takes value number three, it's gonna turn on that value for delay time of 100 millisecond. Okay then the same pin which is uh, number three is going to be turned off okay and then it's going to iterate through all the pins okay and we're going to repeat the same process as we did here we're going to copy this and paste it right here the only thing we're gonna start from highest pin to lowest pin so the the flashing is continuously and it doesn't jump back it, it, it goes from highest and keep going back and forth like that you know and uh, so now let's go and see the uh, the actual uh, circuits so with the uh, sketch blink program uh, notes the LEDs flashing at a rate of uh, 1000 uh, millisecond which is one second which is very slow now I'm gonna change that rate in the program to uh, or the uh, sketch to 100 millisecond so notes the the FTDI was uploading data now I'm gonna upload the program that will blink these six LEDs uh, these are external LEDs to Arduino they are connected uh, from pin 3 all the way to pin 8 and pin 9 is connected to this uh, buzzer here so I'm gonna go and upload the uh, the program so it's a program is being uploading notes the FTDI was transmitting data and then the, uh, you have the six LEDs using that for loop are being flashed at the rate of 100 millisecond and the ninth pins 